Hey y'all, Matt here at Crafter Branch Homestead. So it's Friday and I'll um, just show you a little bit what's been going on around here. Uh, let me see. Okay, so right now I'm in the back. I'm digging up, putting some more irrigation line in. Um, a lot of the garden I'm going to be trying to put on some um, b basically rain barrels or trash cans full of water that will be on little pumps and solar. Um, and we have one set up with the chickens already that can feed this, but I'm going to be pulling it around to the grapes as well. So anyways, that's going on. We have a lot of cover crop and chicken fodder back in these areas here. And so these are going to be what I'm going to build up so I can release the new baby chicks in. And they can uh, connect these and hopefully distract them while they meet. We got some beans popping up, a lot of cucumbers here, and beans. Not a whole lot's popping up here. We do still have um, some radishes popping up and going on over here. Even though it's getting really warm, so we need to, kind of need to replant that box. But a lot of carrots are coming up. All the onions are doing good. My wife had trimmed those. So we have a lot of beans popping up along the walls. We have some sunchokes, some Jerusalem artichokes going here. Maybe some of the chickpeas I planted in this area are popping up a little bit. Some pepper plants. And then uh, we got a bunch of cantaloupe in here and other things. So some of that's starting to come in. Solo, you don't belong in here. Come in. So all the corn's been popping up. It's been doing a lot better this year. A little bit of garlic down in there. It's about ready to pick or, or dig up. But the corn's been doing much better. It is a sweet early corn. Now I did plant it about two, three weeks um, earlier than I normally would have. That's just because of the weather patterns I've been noticing. And uh, that was a decision I made that's, I think, doing good. Um, we have some medicinal herbs here. We have all these grapes are, are doing great back here. Um, and there's just kind of clusters all over, but they're popping. <laughs> we'll be doing some more work on the solar system. And then over here, I've been extending out the nesting boxes I had originally planned to do um, with the new baby chickens. I'm going to need some more space. And so actually with this new design, I'll be able to put eight in in two different layers. That's also going to allow for a lot more room inside the coop as well, which I will need. And so I will, I'm will i going to go ahead and rebuild and extend the perching uh, rods in there or, or whatnot. And so my elderberries coming back. That's super exciting. I'm doing a little bit of work more here on the, sh the quail shack. S some. <laughs> so that's coming along. I'm actually going to be putting in lights and electrical today probably uh, this afternoon. And let's see. These old guys are doing great. It's kind of a mess, I apologize. But um, actually this morning I was in cleaning in the chicken coop and I noticed there were quail all around me. And I, I couldn't figure it out and I looked and, and one of their doors had popped open during the night and my larger area of quail here uh, had all popped out and were, were flying around everywhere. So I caught them and I think I got the right ones back in. But um, something good with having this all enclosed um, one, it keeps out predators uh, for biosecurity. That's excellent. Keeps them away from wild birds. I can put them where I want them so they're not going to uh, get picked by a hawk or things like that. But also if they get out, they, they'll just run around in here. And there's still a few running around. Um, they'll just run around in here. And so they, I think they were out all night, but they, uh, they stayed in here. So that's an awesome plus to doing it like this. Let's see what else we got going. Ooh, ooh, guys, out of the way. Come on. All right, so coming around this way. I don't know if anyone's done this, but I've been having a lot of roaches out here at the compost, and so I did a sugar and baking soda mix, and then you do water next to it. And I guess roaches can't handle that, so they'll eat it for the sugar. They'll get some of the baking soda, drink some water, and it pops them basically, and they die. So. The wild birds, I guess, have picked them all off, but that worked really well, so that's a suggestion there. So we got some plants coming up through here, and I can go through what everything is. It doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but they're rooting and doing well and um, whatnot, so that's exciting. The peach tree that I grew from a pit, I ate a peach from my mother and father-in-law, and through the pit in the ground and uh, that was a couple years ago and now we have this peach tree. These little planter boxes with medicinal herbs are popping off. 
a bunch of the toothache plant or the buzz buttons go in there. Um, some beets and peas, which is getting about too hot for us, so those are probably almost done. Mm, salad bowl mix of lettuce and bok choy, some things are going along there. Some more onions, toothache plants, and things over here. Let's see, we'll go back here. This is some of the Papa Pepper snake gourds, which I'm going to grow up and along the trellis. So last year we had a lot of these little flowers growing all along here, but um, they didn't serve much purpose, so trying to plant plants with more purpose this year so we've gotten rid of those more radishes mmm popping up and other things we got another big grape here and then my tomatoes uh, which are doing great under this shade cloth the New Mexico Sun just can really kill them this one isn't doing so good this is one I guess we had bought but this one's dying off so I'm not sure But um, I don't claim to be an expert gardener. Actually, everything we're doing here, we are learning um, as we do it. And that's the whole point of it, um, is to learn. And so right now I'm just pulling off a lot of these leaves on the pepper plants. You do want to pull off the ones, you know, that look like that. Um, that way more energy goes to the rest of the plant and it cuts down on diseases. These are walking onions I'd gotten from Papa Pepper as well. And they're beginning to walk. So these onions, what they'll do is they grow the bulb underground and then they'll grow one up top and that's basically to lean over and fall on the ground and grow and start the cycle again. So these are awesome. They're popping off this year. Some more chickpeas going. And then um, we have all kinds of various peppers. Lots of peppers along here. Um, and rosemary, thyme, mint, aramath. Some squashes. And things. Our strawberry plants here. <laughs> I need to build something to cover because the birds decided to get all those. Um, but there are some strawberries still going over here. And then there's just a lot of baby things and kind of some random stuff in through here right now. So today is a day of cleaning up the yard and building and doing some of those things um, before Sabbath tonight when I get to enjoy time with my family and my God. So stay strong. Have a good day. Till next time.